हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंस अगेन यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइड लूब रोबोटिक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डेवलप एस ड्राइवर एज ए मास्टर मोड फॉर एस वी थर्टी टू यूजिंग एस पी एंड एम्बेडेड सी सो लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड स्टेप बाई स्टेप दिस इज प्रीवियस प्रोजेक्ट नाउ आई विल क्रिएट हियर न्यू प्रोजेक्ट गो टू एस पी एक्सटेंशन and click our new project wizard okay and here type project name okay select here directory where you want to save okay now click on choose template and click on template app create project using this template and yes okay go to main.c close this unnecessary pop up okay we will write here program so now i will include a free artas header file has include free artas slash free artas dot h okay now i will include spi master dot h okay has include driver slash spi master dot h okay now i will include gpio dot h i will include driver slash gpio dot h okay now i will define spi pin so has define mosi mosi is 12 number and has define miso miso is 13 number pin and clock pin so has define s c l k it is 15 number and now chip select pin okay has define c s it is 14th number pin okay now i will declare handle spi handle spi underscore device handle underscore t this is handle now going to configure spi so we have to declare and define spi config structure so spi bus config okay and it is spi config okay equal to and here we will assign mosi pin dot mosi under, underscore io underscore now this is mosi pin okay and now dot miso okay and now sclk dot sclk this is sclk okay now configure this pi device so spi device interface config spi device C O N F G. Okay. Dot clock speed in hertz. So I am going to define one megahertz. Now going to define duty cycle. Dot duty cycle pause. it will be 128 for 50% duty cycle okay now 
configure the mode it is zero mode spi zero and here assign this chip select pin dot spics okay this is cs q size okay q size is one so uh, i will tell you what is q size okay we will see step by step q size means transaction q size this sets how many transaction can be in the air okay so i am keeping one only now we are going to initialize spi bus spi underscore bus initialize here it will pass spi to host okay and address of spi config okay and now address of device config okay let me check once it's macro okay this is spi2 now we will call the function spi bus add device spi bus add device and pass here host spi2 host because of you are using spi2 and spi config address and address of handler okay this is spi handler okay declare two variable send buffer and receive buffer care send buff 128 byte size define with zero now care receive buff 128 byte define with zero okay now declare a spi transaction variable it is t okay use main set to reset this variable zero size of t okay now i will use while loop i will send a string so i will use sn printf sn printf i will pass this variable send buff its size okay string what we want to send hi i am from esp32 okay we have to set its length t dot t dot length length is size of send buff into at it is in bit that's why we are multiplying with at okay t dot this is send buff okay t dot rx buffer it is receive buffer okay now i will call transmit function spi device transmit and i will pass here handle 
comma address of t okay now i'll print transmitted buffer so print of transmitted percent as new line okay this is send buff okay and now i'll print received buffer okay print of received percent as new line okay and now i will use 1000 millisecond delay okay we task delay 1000 for take underscore period underscore ms okay so uh, now code is ready sorry it will be in double quote okay okay now code is ready you can see in video uh, i have sorted miso and mosi bin so whatever i will send from mosi then it will be get back on miso okay so whatever i will send it will print on received buffer okay so uh, first of all i will build this code okay there is one error mm set for the mem set we have to include here string dot h header okay and another thing spi device config this is unused variable okay here we have to pass spi device config okay and now everything is correct i think spi bus config spi config okay okay let us again build two errors are still there spi device config here spi dma ch auto okay now everything is correct click on build wow great now code building is done successfully without any errors so now i will click on flash select here reward and flashing will be started okay now press reset button okay and i will start serial monitor you can see it is printing high i am from usb32 transmitted is high i am from usb32 and received buffer is same high i am from usb32 if i will remove this jumper wire then receive buffer will be not printed okay see receive buffer is empty there is no received buffer it means it is not receiving any buffer if again i will connect okay and press reset button what happened 
Oke. Okay. Hmm. You can see it is printing. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, so please do like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.